I'm over here checking on a unit, a one bedroom, one bathroom unit that my partner and I are converting over to Airbnb. Now we have six other Airbnbs at this location, five of which are uh, Airbnb listings as well. One of them is a 3-2, which doesn't do as good as the one bedroom, one bathrooms, but it took us quite a bit to even get to the point where we could furnish these and, and list them as Airbnbs. This property originally was uh, occupied by hoarders and meth heads and it was a complete rehab all the way down to the studs and as you can see this is multiple buildings so there's a duplex a triplex and a quadplex that sits on a corner just outside of downtown now this was the last of the units that we hadn't converted over to Airbnb and uh, for the other ones my partner and I calculated our revenue over the last three months and we make about 400 extra dollars a month in cash flow from just having these on Airbnb. That's after all the cleaning expenses, all the platform expenses, and all of the material expenses that you have for Airbnb. Now, Airbnb is much more customer service oriented. It's definitely not as passive as just having a long-term rental, but it makes sense for us to do it so we can increase our revenue. And that's partially because this renovation was smack dab in the middle of COVID. And so lumber prices basically doubled or, I don't know, tripled in some cases, it seemed like. So we went over our budget quite a bit and we wanted to increase the cash flow on these as much as possible. Now we're not upside down on these. My partner and I only brought $1,500 each to the closing table. The bank lent us the money for the purchase and every single bit of the renovations for this property. I could make a separate video on that another time, but we spent more than we wanted to on the renovation. It actually, it's not my preferred way to you know, invest in real estate, but this is just outside of downtown. And some of the units that we have over here are actually kind of shotgun style, whereas you walk in the unit and there's a living room and then the next room is a bedroom. And then beyond that is a kitchen and a bathroom. So it's these weird shotgun style units. Uh, this isn't one of those units in particular, but the majority of the ones that we have over here are that style. So they just don't seem to fit for a long-term tenant. Um, I'm sure we could lease them up, but it wouldn't be for the kind of market rent we would get for just a standard one bedroom, one bathroom unit. So we just decided to convert them to Airbnb and they've done really well. Uh, there are some down months, so you have to plan for that throughout the year. But these are grossing us anywhere from nine to twelve thousand dollars a month. And after all the expenses, we probably cash flow anywhere from uh, twenty five hundred to forty five hundred and beyond. You know, if there's a concert in town or uh, like we had PGA Tour last year, the rates just go through the roof. And we actually use a program online, Price Labs, which will change, uh, it's a link to your account and it'll actually change the nightly rate depending on demand. Sometimes it doesn't catch those really big demand nights and you've gotta be on top of it and go in there and, and change it, adjust it, make it higher so you're not losing out on uh, any revenue. But the other hard part about Airbnbs is you need a good cleaner. You need a cleaner that is going to let you know um, what's going on with the unit in between guests, making sure everything is correct and right and on top of it. And it's a lot of work. Uh, we have six of these over here. Sometimes all six of them need to be cleaned. This will actually be the seventh unit. All six of them need to be cleaned on the same day and we've got one cleaner. Um, we do just give her basically all of the cleaning fees and try to incentivize it as much as possible for her um, so she continues to do good work for us. But I thought I'd just do a little quick walk through this and just talk about Airbnbs a little bit since part of my portfolio consists of those. This will be number seven. I've had a couple other Airbnbs that I've taken offline because they just weren't hitting the occupancy that I wanted to, and it made more sense to convert them back over to long-term. If you got any questions about Airbnbs, real estate investing, 
feel free to hit me up. Anyways, click the like button. Thanks for watching.